first 20 terms of an arithmetic progression is 405. Okay, first 20 terms, 405. So circle, underline the things we need. And the sum of the first 40 terms, so a second sequence, is 1,410. Find the 60th term of the progression. So we're using the sum of here. We have our formula there. So let's plug in our numbers. So 20 is n over 2. 2a. Two we don't have any first term yet. We don't have any of these details. So our total sum is, of course, 405. Okay. Let's look at our second. We had first 40 terms. 2a plus n minus 1d is the same. We don't have any details. And our total for the sum was 1, 4, 1, 0. So 1,410. Okay, is our setup. Now we need to simplify these down. n minus 1 is 19. That's right. 405. Second one, 40 over 2 is 20. Thirty ninety. So equal to one four one zero. Okay. Now we need to simplify down more. So ten times two is twenty. Hundred and ninety is four hundred and five. Excellent. And the same for our second progression. You need your calculator where you need 780D. One four one new. So what we're going to do next? Okay, we're going to use simultaneous equations. Obviously, what's the easiest pathway? Just doing this one times two, I believe. And so you should get. 40a plus 380 is equal to 810. And we've got same sign, so subtract. So when you subtract them, you'll get 400, exactly. You can get a minus if you want. It will be minus and minus on both sides. So minus 400d equals minus 600. It will be the same. So we got our first little answer, I believe. Our difference is 600 divided by 400. So cancel 400 on both sides. You'll get 3 over 2 or 1.5. From there, sub that in to one of our progressions. So we had two progressions. One was here, one was there. And when you sub it in, you should get 40a plus 780 times one and a half equals 1410. Get your calculator out. That's why it's there. And you'll get solve it yourself with your algebraic skills 1.5 and a should be a nice whole number 6 that's your first term so that's nice what were we asked in the question we were asked to find a 60th term to find a 60th term we'll use our end term that we have up here, which is a plus n minus 1 times d. 
So A is 6. 6 did. Take away 1 is 59. Times your difference. And you should get either a fraction or a decimal level.